Okay guys, it's about time to take out the RV. I'm gonna go over a couple things with you guys in this video so that when you guys come get it, hopefully we can have all our questions answered on this video with also all of the papers that we have inside for you. So, so here we have it all set up for you. So in this video, I can show you everything and how it works and go over all the different <clears throat> pop outs mechanisms of how everything works and hopefully have those questions answered so i'm going to start at the back here we've got the spare tire here and right here on the side we've got our buttons for the retracts down below for balancing so here extend retract and that'll help with balancing and you also have another one of those over on this side as well for the front and then we also have lots of storage compartments for storing anything right there we have your outdoor water hose it also has an electric heater on it for cold months but you won't have to worry about plugging that in for now i've got some spare buckets there for if any need to carry in any water anything like that for just extra stuff outside of the camper and then you've also got some storage compartments over here on this pop out and this one comes with a twist plus um, a lock and your keys are on this key and it's going to be this one with the blue paint on it right there so you're just gonna unlock the other one and twist this knob and you've got more storage under here this right here is your electrical cord that's plugging in on the other side another cord there you've got some little holders there for any of your plumbing hookups and all that just to set off the ground if you would like and then we're going to come over here for your toilet plumbing that hooks up to your gray and black tank here on the edge you've got this cap that hooks onto the hose and it stores all the way in this bumper and here is the electrical cap you'll plug in here for any power at your hookups here is our other pop out and on this back side we've got you've got an outdoor shower option if you would like but there is one inside and then down here we've got the um, plumbing hookup so this one right here is for your black tank valve and this one right here is for your gray tank hence the gray and black knobs so with that, I would just advise making sure that one is closed before you open the other. So if you're going to empty the black tank, make sure it does. this one is closed so that it doesn't back up into your fresh water. And then we've got another pop out over here as well for the bedroom. And here down below, we've got your water heater here. You guys shouldn't need that if you do. Well, I guess if you guys do want some warm water running whatsoever, then that works as well. Um, and you'll just come in here. This plug here stays in once you're turning it on and filling it up. And then you've got a little switch back here to turn on. And you just have to let it fill up and get warm before you can use it. And then, We've got your docking lights there. That'll help turn on any lights for when you're trying to um, dock and just add some extra light there. In here, you don't really need to know much there, but this is just your water filter and your pump. Right here is where you hook up that blue hose that I showed you on the other side. And that blue hose has a special valve connector to it to regulate the pressure that comes out of a water spigot or anything like that that goes into this trailer so that it doesn't bust or ruin any pressure inside. And then up front here, we've got the two batteries there and as well as your knobs to turn it on are right there and that kind of is in a hard spot but it's right under the propane tanks <clears throat> under here we've got two 
full propane tanks and you can either access that from here and you can just um, open here, turn on valves, they are full right now, or you can take this entire covering off and get to them as well if you need to. Um, here is an automatic jack for when you dock, when you park, when you're trying to hook up to your truck or vehicle, and also all your hookups here with the plug-in. <clears throat> and then those are those docking lights to help you back up if it's dark. And I think that's all for out here. You've also got some outside power outlets if you want to hook up here. And then let's go inside. So the main key to lock and open the door is this purple one, okay? So then you're going to open up here. You've got a screen door as well if needed. It's nice to have some airflow sometimes if you don't have the AC running. So we come in, we've got plenty of storage throughout. This one, we'll start here in the bathroom. This one also connects to here. You've got your shower in here. You've got the mirror there, hi. And then we've got extra toilet paper options there. This is specific RV toilet paper, so it dissolves well. And then I've put in extra garbage sacks there for your little garbage can, <clears throat> little liners. And then also, if you want to dump some of this in your toilet when you use it, it just helps kind of dissolve. Um, I don't know how well that actually works. I've used it and so far I've had no issues. <clears throat> then we've got your bedroom here. We've got lots of storage over there, up along there, and then your closet in here, okay? I also have your extra pair of sheets in here for the bed out there. And then you've also got a TV in here as well. And I've got this hooked up to a Roku, if you guys want to use that as well, if your park has Wi-Fi or something. Fly swatter there. We've got in here, I did stock it with a little bit of bug repellent just so you guys can have to use. And this right here is if that water heater little plug-in gets way too tight, this should loosen it or tighten it if you need to. And then we'll go over here. We do have an extra level in here for when you are parking and using the retracts. This will help level better. We've got your kitchen here. This is the extra piece that you can attach onto this countertop to make it extend. We've got a standing garbage can with liners in there. You can find more liners under the sink, as well as some dish soap and little drain packs. And then under here, we've got your pots and pans. I've got extra paper towels for your paper towel dispenser. And then here, we've got, I've got a camping pack of utensils that are more plastic. I've got knives and then your cutting board as well. But if you want just plastic utensils, I've got a pack here of forks, knives, and spoons, as well as plates, bowls, cups. There should be some more cups here. Some ibuprofen, Tylenol, some essentials, um, seasonings, napkins, little plastic baggies if you need them. Then over here, we've got a full three um top oven and stove and then your microwave here this one for some reason takes a lot of power so when you are using this and you're hooked up for some reason don't try and be using a whole lot of other stuff while using that but just for a minute you've got your freezer here i've got a nice scentsy in there just to make it smell better this is where you turn on and off the fridge. I thought, what a weird spot, but hey, it works. So that one, you'll just, once you're plugged in, you can turn on or off 
and set however you'd like and your fridge as well. So we've got your double sink over here, under here, and then a dishcloth. This obviously turn on and on. Got some plugins here I use for like air fryers, Instapots, whatever you want. I'm gonna set your keys here and some papers that we will go over in just a minute. We've got your bed pop out out of this couch and the sheets in the bedroom you can use for this. We've got an extra umbrella if you need, uh, just a nice little blanket. Um, I would advise bringing extra pillows and blankets if you do want, it is warm though. And then this is an electric stove, actually produces pretty good heat. So I've heard of people at night, sometimes if it gets cool, they'll use just this and not the whole heating system, but that's totally up to you. Um, entertainment system, TV, all this. We do have surround sound um, speaker as well for music, radio, whatever. We've also got your table and dining area here. Some storage here that I will be putting that you can store those manuals and books. This one is just a push light for a little extra light. And then here is your control panel. So this here, when you turn it on, will tell you about your tanks. Now to say they're very accurate, I can't really say <laughs> on that, but I've kind of just been consciously aware. Sometimes they are pretty accurate, but when I bought this, they said the same thing. I think it does the best it can, but you know. The battery, it'll, if you push this, it'll tell you where you're at on that. You push this, the black tank, it'll show you where you're at. Gray tank, show you where you're at. This is your water pump if you need to use if you're not hooked up to any hose. This is your gas water heater, and this one's your electric water heater if you're going to use any hot water. Um, these are for your slide outs. Slide out one is for the kitchen. Slide out two, in and out. That one is for the main um, I guess living room and half of the kitchen and then slide out three is for the bedroom in there that closet so last but not least <clears throat> your manual so I still refer to this so much but as we've gotten to know this trailer a lot more obviously you don't need it as much but still we use this for everything this will help with as much as it can. Just look up in the index, table of contents, what you need. It should help. We've also, though, made a packet of frequently asked questions. And this truly was all the questions that I felt like weren't explained very well in here, but really needed an extra explanation. We also have this for the TV and the sound system, anything and how that works. And then general RV, all this. So every packet or system in here has a whole manual of itself. So these I also refer to if I need to go into more depth on any of the systems. The toilet, the furnace, the water pump, the refrigerator, air conditioning, you name it, water heater. So also on the air conditioning or the heater, if you are going to turn those on and use... The control panel is right over here in the kitchen and pretty self-explanatory. Auto fan on, you can do cool, just a fan off and heat. Right now it's off. And then you can set your temp here. I truly felt like I used this throughout the winter and summer months and I lived in it. So I, I honestly loved both of the systems and felt like they worked amazing. I forgot one more thing on this panel, but obviously here are all your lights. Lights here, interior here, it lights up amazing in here. Or all your windows for natural lighting. I would advise that sometimes when you slide these up and down, they have been getting stuck. So just be careful when you do use those. We've had to replace some blinds in here. So. All right, you guys. Well, hopefully we covered as much as possible. Um, I'm really trying to think if I forgot anything, but um, I've left here 
on the table um, your whole outdoorsy RV departure form. So I'm gonna go through that, write some extra notes, whatever, and when you come and get the trailer, um, this will be here. And we'll just have you sign also on the last page. And if you have any questions, you've got my number, you can message me on Outdoorsy and we'll be available. So I hope it goes well. I am excited for you guys. Have so much fun.